we can get to the upper part of the academy now. I hope we find someone there. Are you sure you're allowed to go there? Of course I'm allowed to. I'm a stu student's familiar. But earlier you said... This is no time for chit-chat, Lydia. Let's go investigate. Stop it. I don't feel good, Zack. I... Father! Wait! Yes? Did you want to tell me, Celeste? Hurry up. I don't have all day. I... I miss you, Father. You never have any time to spend with me. You're always using your work as an excuse to run away. <sighs> Is that all? Don't you understand that I need you, Father? I... I love you. Don't you love me? If you need something really important, I will be in my office. And one last thing, Celeste. Grow up already. This kind of crybaby conversation doesn't suit a girl your age. Did you leave? Nathaniel! What happened? I... Where is Celeste? I... I miss you, Celeste. Why did you go away from me? What is going on here? Nathaniel, answer me! No, I can't let what happened distract me from my task. Where, where am I again? Zack? I'm here, Lydia. Damn, you walk fast. I had another vision, but it was different than the first one. It wasn't one of my own memories. It felt as if I was seeing someone else's past. Well, it had something in common with the first one. It made you wander through the school mumbling, but I couldn't understand anything you said. Where did it lead us? I never came here before. It's called the Whispering Stairway. The way to the second section of the Academy is in the Guardian's Hall, just ahead. Upstairs! That's where the students were heading. What are you talking about? I saw them go upstairs in my vision. That might be where they are. What's weird, though, is that they didn't seem in a panic or any hurry. I'm pretty sure they weren't fleeing anything. If only this vision was connected to the clues we've found so far. Even Nathaniel was acting strangely, as if it wasn't really him. It was so weird. Uh, right. 
what I suggest is that we focus on finding someone so we can learn what really happened here. And as soon as we can, we'll ask a teacher to examine you and help us understand those visions of yours. Great. This door doesn't have a handle or even a lock. Is this even a real door? If it is, how am I supposed to get into this room? If I'm right, this door can only be opened by magic. Zack, the familiar of Grandmaster Nightingale. Oh no. Is there anything wrong, Zack? No, no, everything's fine. Can I stay here? No way. You're coming with me. Are, are you the ones who spoke to us through the door? We are. Who, who are you? We are the Stone Golems, guardians of this academy. We protect it against intruders. By order of Nathaniel, only students and school staff may access the upper section of the school. But I really need to go there. The area below is empty. Candidates are not allowed to go further. Zack, say something. Tell them who you are so they open the way. Uh, I am Zack, and, um... One of the teacher's familiars. Could you please let us pass? We already answered this question. Only students and school staff may access the upper section of the school. Are you really a teacher's familiar? Of course I am. I bet they don't recognize me because I look like a wolf. Possibly. I wonder what Nathaniel is up to. Why does he prevent people from going upstairs? What if he's stopping them from coming down? Why would he do that? To protect the students. Something dangerous could lurk in the lower section of the school. Don't be ridiculous. If there was such a threat, we'd have stumbled upon it already. Now let's go somewhere else since these guardians won't let us pass. Oh, but maybe I did find it. How can I gain access to the upper section of the academy? You will need to become a student. How do I do that? the trials like every candidate must before the 
they can become students of this academy. The Guardian of Triumph has spoken. I would like to learn more about the Trial of Triumph before I face you. Fear has always been one of the worst human weakness. A mage must be strong and in control under every circumstance for them to have access to powers greater and older than humankind. I will confront you with the fear that holds the tightest grasp on your weak human soul. Succeed, and student I'll make you, or fail and go back where you came from, never to return. The Guardian of Triumph has spoken. How can I open the doors to the trial rooms? Scattered in the academy stand three magical doorways. Which to open, no magical words you must say. Fully made of stone, no handles or locks do they wear. Behind the first one, allegiance we will make, you swear. Impossible by brute strength to break through. The second one will test the wisdom held in you. Finally, open by the student's wooden spear. The last door protects you from your worst fear. Of course, you guys have to talk in riddles. Can't you just tell me how to open them? No. The Guardians are not allowed to help the candidates. We are here to make certain that only students and school staff may pass. Zach, is this how candidates usually get accepted? No, normally teachers take care of the trials, not the guardians. The equal number of times there are trials, you will turn your key. And on the floor, you will knock firmly. Then, at the big gem, your spear you will point. Shh! Are you trying to get us killed? We know. We are still working on it. That was very clever of Nathaniel to block the access to the upper part of the academy. What are you insinuating about Nathaniel? Think about it. Only he may command the Guardians, and now only students and school staff can pass them. So if everyone able to get to the upper section of the academy is already up there, who could come and foil his plans? Me? If I can find a way to pass for a student, the Guardians have to let us pass. I'm sure I can disguise myself as one of the students. 
It's not that simple. They're magical entities. You won't fool them with a costume. Do you have a better suggestion? We have to try to get the Guardians to help us, whether they want to or not. Do you know what this key opens at? It's different than the ones we already have. I don't know, but the caretaker is the one with all the important keys in this school. Maybe he lost it. I really doubt he would ever lose any of his keys. I admit, though, that sometimes we steal them. We? Can you explain to me how and why a dragon would use keys? What? No, I meant the students steal them. Sometimes I want so hard to be like them, so they'll stop teasing me that I speak like if I was one of them. <laughs> uh-huh. You make as much sense as the visions I had. <sighs> Can't anything be easy in this academy? This little brass key fits perfectly. Let's see if anyone is in this room. We're sorry to barge in here, but no one answered us and... Hello? Darn it. It's empty like the rest of the school. The door was locked, no one is in here, and everything seems to be in order as... As if the caretaker left to go somewhere and knew he wouldn't come back for a while. Or come back at all. What's this old parchment? I don't know. It wasn't there the last time I came here. Why would a teacher's familiar come to the caretaker's office? I was delivering a message for my master. A message, eh? About what? Uh, well, my master wanted the caretaker to know that he would examine this old parchment next week. You just said it wasn't there the last time you came here. It wasn't, but I'm sure that's what my master was referring to. 
Right. You know what? I'll keep this parchment and discuss the matter with your master. You can't do that. Oh, why not? The caretaker would be mad if he found out you messed with his stuff. I'm probably in trouble for the next few years anyway. Do you know how much stuff I've touched that I wasn't supposed to since I arrived? I don't think it can get any worse at this point. If someone catches us, I'll disavow any knowledge of this robbery. Normally, I wouldn't try to open this safe. That's acting like a thief. We don't have much choice, though. Anyway, no one would ever think of accusing a teacher's familiar, so you don't have to worry about being caught. Uh... what makes this so valuable that it has to be locked up in a safe. We found the caretaker's most treasured possession. According to rumor, he uses this to read the magical rune writing. If that's true, you should be able to read the map on the wall now. I can! I understand the magical writing. This will be a big help in our research. And I can read the notebook we found. Huh. It looks like it has a recipe for a shape-shifting potion. But I think the caretaker will be furious if he finds us playing with his magical circling. Who cares? If he finds us, this means we won't be alone anymore. And if we're not alone, we won't need the circlet, so we can just give it back to him. But for now, we can really use this. It'll let us read the pages with the instructions on how to brew the shape-shifting potion. Look at this beautiful staff! Huh? My name's on it! Could it be for me? Maybe a present from Celeste? Take it with you. Every student has a staff like this. The student's wooden spear. What? Zack, this is the student's wooden spear the Guardian spoke of in their riddle. With it, I should be able to open the trial room doors. me back home, this note doesn't make sense. From what we see here, the caretaker wasn't in any hurry when he left. But he didn't finish writing this note. The note tells us who shut everything down, but doesn't tell us who gave the order to do so. You're right. These clues aren't really helping us. At least we know that everything was ready for your arrival. But they wanted to send me back home. So the staff we found is mine. Well, if it opens the trial room doors, I'll need to remember to thank the caretaker. Mm. 
Lydia, did you hear that? Yes! What was it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we aren't as alone as we think. written now. It says, Inspired by the majestic dragons, the mages who built this academy created the school ideals. The great mage Nightingale claimed wisdom to be the first ideal. Winter Owl declared the second ideal would be power. Then they both agreed magic couldn't be used without balance. Nightingale! Zack, is your master one of his heirs? My master? Oh, my master. Yeah, uh, the nightingale who built this academy was his ancestor. Do as the Guardians told you, and open the trial room door. Let's hope this works. In just a few seconds, it'll be open. If I'm right, the instructions they gave us go like this. Turn your key three times, knock on the floor, and point at the gem. Shatter the door. I am so stressed. I hate tests. Come on, Lydia. We don't have a choice if we want to thwart Nathaniel's plans. Zach, Nathaniel's not responsible for this. I'm positive he... How can you still doubt that he used the Guardians to make sure no one would come disturb him while he pursues his evil plans? Good thing for us he forgot about you, Lydia. It's clear he never thought you would pass the trial by yourself and try to stop him. Zack, enough! Nathaniel is one of the sweetest people I know, and he's my best friend's father. I'll not stand here and listen to you badmouth him. But... But nothing. I'm sure he'll explain what's happening in this school once we find him. Now, let me concentrate on this trial. of Dragonvale Academy rests on three specific values. Each student should follow the path of the founders and remain true to those values. What are they? The path that one must follow to become a great wizard is very difficult. 
What would you be willing to sacrifice to become one? What's happened to the mage's nightingale after he mastered the wizardry? Yeah, but there are still two more to go. Sheesh, could you be more negative? Sure, even if you complete these trials, the Guardians might not let us pass. <sighs> what on earth have I done to deserve a cowardly and depressed dragon as a companion? A dragon? I'm just a damn wolf. And the way things are going, I doubt that's gonna change anytime soon. Just be a little more patient. We're getting there. Soon, we will be in the upper part of the Academy, and there will be plenty of people to help you. I'm really starting to enjoy this! I wonder if the caretaker might have taken some vacations. Can you tell me more about this caretaker you're talking about? He's the person who looks after all the machinery of the school and makes sure everything works properly. He also takes care of the garden and the nearby forest area.
wait a minute. I'm not going any further. Zach, you're shaking. Are you all right? I'm, 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 I'm fine, okay? No, you're not. You're scared. What's wrong? I'm not scared. I just, I don't want to talk about it. Don't be embarrassed, Zach. Everyone is scared of something. I'm... I'm afraid of heights. A dragon scared of heights? Yeah, I'm afraid of heights, okay? The fella broke my wing when I tried to fly the first time. Ever since that day, I just can't stand heights. Oh, Zach, that's terrible. Are you going to be able to go on? I'll try to follow you. But please, please stay away from high places like this if you can. Let's go back inside. Hmm, what's this? This page looks as if it was ripped from that notebook we found information about the shape-shifting potion. From what I understand, they explain how to grow a nigilus tree and how to use the nigilus fruit as an ingredient in the potion. Door, be gone! Oh, great. How am I supposed to get to the balcony where the trial is? If I remember, teachers move those stairs when a candidate passes his trials. Zach, take a look at this. There's a broken window on the upper balcony. Broken window? Maybe that's the reason why everyone is missing. Hurry, Lydia. Let's get out of here. Calm down, oh mighty dragon. What you said doesn't make any sense since his room was sealed. Let's take a look around to see if we can find a way to reach the other balcony. Amazing! We just have to move these stairs so they reach the other balcony.
Welcome back, Lydia. How may I help you? It's the Grand Mustavio. Who? The Magnificent Mustavio. Zach, you know him? Everyone in this school knows him. He brings us goods from all over the world. Exactly, Wolfie. Aren't you scared of a wolf? A dragon. Zach, it's not time to... Mustavio is not scared of anything when it comes to the Dragon Vale Academy. But don't you find a talking wolf a bit odd? I am a dragon. Zach! I have seen a stranger things than talking animals in this valley, young lady. What could be stranger than a dragon that got changed into a talking wolf? That is for you to discover, Lydia. Mustavio will not spoil the surprises the school has for you. I broke my pendant earlier. Could you repair it? Let Mustavio have a look at this pendant. Hmm, it's a very rare, delicate pendant you have here. How much would you want? What? It's not for sale. I only want to fix it. All right, but you should think about it. Mustavio could give you a good price for this jewelry. No! Okay, okay. Unfortunately for you, I do not have the parts needed to replace the broken ones. But if you find them, I'll be happy to repair the pendant for you. With the help of a small fee, of course. Alright. Thanks for taking a look. Anytime, young lady. Mustavio the Fantastico is always there for his dear customers. Did you have any luck of finding my friend as a caretaker? I'm sorry, Mustavio, but he is nowhere to be found. Ay, 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 this is a bad news. Let's make a deal then. What? What kind of deal? You help a Mustavio get what he needs, he will give you something in return. What will I get if I help you? Mustavio the Generous will give you these little figurines for the Minotaur maze. Okay, let us suppose that I agree to help you. What exactly must I do? Brave girl, I know Mustavio could count on you. I didn't say yes. It's very easy. You only have to go into the academy and find the little barrels of wine along with the crates I need. You don't even have to bring them back with you. Only find where they are and tell me. How do I know these are really yours and not something you're trying to steal while there's no one around? You accuse a Mustavio the Marvelous of a stealing? How dare you! Hey, it's my first time here, the school is empty, and I don't know you. How do you expect me to react? Ah, you're right, the young one. Well, my name is printed on these crates in the barrels, so you'll know they are mine. Anything else? There is a little or something left. You must find a way for Mustavio to cross the river with his wheelbarrow. You must help him, Lydia. You can't let Mustavio go bankrupt. All right, I'll see what I can do. Can you tell me more about those little figurines you want to give me? 
They are pieces for an astonishing game brought from a distant land to this school by your humble servant, Mustavio. Believe me, Lydia, the game is awesome. Though I warn you, without them, you'll never be able to win. You can't win the game more than once with each pair of figurines. But if you win, you get a great prize. Later, Mustavio. Good luck to you, my customer. Hey Lydia, have you ever heard the story of the chimera you faced in your first trial? No, I never heard it. Isn't this chimera just a statue? Oh no, it's much more than that. It was once a creature of flesh and blood. No way. I swear it's the truth. Since the beginning of time, the chimera was one of the most feared creatures of the entire known world. And when Nightingale and Winter Owl came into the Vale to build the school, they had to deal with one that was living in a nearby cave. Fortunately, they managed to capture it and confine it in the stone prison using the mighty power of Orlos, the Earth Magic Rune. As a scary reminder of humanity's own fragility, Nightingale and Winter Owl used it to test the candidates coming to study in their academy. Wow, that's an awesome story!
Is this some kind of secret passage? I don't know, but I don't think we should open it. There's got to be a really good reason for it to be sealed with a magical lock. Look, things aren't going to get better if we just sit here and don't do anything. We need to investigate. If I had only done the things you wanted me to, we'd still be back in the entrance hall. scream for? You made my heart skip a beat. I... I heard something weird when the door vanished. Zack, quit it. I already told you, there are no ghosts. Where are we? I, I don't know. I never came here before. Why are you still whispering? We're not supposed to sneak, you know. Does anybody hear me? Shh! Be quiet! You'll attract unwanted attention on us! Uh, that's what I want. The point here is for someone to find us. It's funny. Celeste's parents had a wine cave like this where we used to play when we were young. Good for them. And now that we know it's empty, we can leave this place. Mustavio asked me to find some barrels with his tag on it. It must be these ones.
Zack, is everything okay? No, there's something weird in this forest. A dangerous... Zack, please don't leave. What? Celeste, what a wonderful surprise. I'm sorry to wake you up, but I'm so excited that I couldn't wait to tell you what I found. Look! That's a pretty painting of you, Celeste. It looks so realistic. No, you don't understand. It's not me. It's a portrait of my mother. Oh. Well, if she were here, I'm sure you two would be mistaken for sisters. I know! It's incredible how much we look alike. There's one thing I don't understand, though. What is it, my dear? You seem troubled. Since I look just like my mother, why doesn't my father love me like he loved her? I've lived hundreds of years, Celeste, and human nature is still a mystery to me. I'm so sorry, Celeste. If you need anything, I will always be there. Thank you, Lydia. But nothing will ever replace my mother. Poor Celeste. Nothing I said would comfort you on that sad day. Your father and I are still there, Celeste. Get up, Celeste. It's time to go. Crying won't do any good. Gosh, I'll never get used to those visions. Hey, Zach, guess what? I saw my best friend, Celeste, and she was my age this time. She looked so... Zach? Zach, where are you? Well, that's just great. The only person... Animal! Whatever. The only one I found had to vanish while I was having a vision. Where has he gone now? And why am I in this glade? Could this be the same tree I saw Celeste speak with in my vision? H hello, uh, can you, can you hear me? I'm a friend of Celeste. Jeez, this place must really be getting to me. I keep having visions, and now I'm standing here trying to talk to a tree. Maybe if I play the song from the pendant Celeste gave me, it will wake him up and... Oh no, I forgot it was broken. I could probably fix it if I had my tools and some spare parts. something once again. This place is forbidden. Please, promise me you'll never go back. 
There's an eerie and malicious creature living there. And if you linger here, it could wake up. It's dangerous. Zack, there was nothing special in the glade. Nothing besides a huge tree with a face. Not a real face, but it almost looked like it had a human face. Jeez, I never thought dragons could be scared by so many things. I am not scared. I'm just careful, that's all. strange signpost. I wonder, what will happen if I touch this vine? What the? seen this before. I just touched this wild vine in the bridge group. I hope this doesn't cause trouble for you. For me? You mean for us. Welcome back, Lydia. How may I help you? I found the wine barrels you wanted, Mustavio. Perfect. How can I reach it then? First, you go in. Now you only needed to find my special crew. Welcome back, Lydia. How may I help you? Mustavio, I found the crates you were looking for. Good. Where are they? Here is how to reach them. Splendid! You saved the Mustavio's life. Here, as I promised. Take these figurines as your own. See you later, Mustavio. Good luck to you, my customer.
you won? What is it? I can't see. This looks exactly like the Nigelus seed that's drawn in one of the ripped pages. Awesome! We'll be able to grow a Nigelus tree and get the fruit we need. Uh, Zach. What? I don't want to disappoint you, but it takes years before a tree is ready to bear fruit. That's why we have to use magic to make it grow. Read that page. Let's go see if we can find a place that has enough room for the tree to grow. Hmm. How does he know what's on those pages if he can't read the magical language? <laughs>